The Bad Boy 4035 is the only tractor in the Bad Boy lineup that currently comes with an optional cab. However, the cab option is so much different from the 4035 non-cab that it deserved its own video. I'm going to go in depth telling you about all the standard features that come on the Bad Boy 4035CH tractor. I'll talk about what it has in common with the 4035H and point out all the differences between this tractor and the non-cab option. Now make sure to check out the other Bad Boy tractor videos that I've released on the Tractor Bob's YouTube channel. First important thing to mention that comes on both the 4035 and 4035 cab is what Bad Boy calls the Hydromax transmission. The Hydromax transmission was first seen in the US on some of Branson's most popular tractors. The Hydromax allows the engine RPMs to vary automatically as you press on the forward and reverse pedals. This will hopefully help the tractor from stalling out in those tough situations, but most importantly, it makes the tractor more fuel efficient. Both the 4035H and 4035CH feature the same lifting and power specs, meaning they will perform identically. At face value, the tractors look the same as well, but once you start looking a little closer, interesting differences start to reveal themselves. For one, the rear fenders on the 4035H are steel and more rigid looking. On the 4035CH, the tractor has plastic fenders that are more curvilinear, same goes for the shape of the tail lights. It's amazing to me how many people think steel fenders are better over plastic ones. Steel is nice and all, but plastic is much more flexible, plus it's easier and less expensive to replace if anything goes wrong. On the hood of the tractor, there is a lot more to protect, so I understand why someone would want a steel hood. But even then, you shouldn't be dropping anything on your hood. However, mistakes can happen. Now, both the 4035CH and 4035H do have steel hoods. Anyway, focusing on the exterior here, the 4035CH has nice large side view mirrors, front hazard lights that are mounted to the cab, as well as rear work lights. The cab has a grab bar, making it easy to get in and out of the tractor. As you probably already noticed, the cab curves ever so slightly as it tapers toward the top. The top of the cab, I'm a big fan of. Speaking of fans, the fan vents and filters are simple and easy to get to, sitting right underneath the top of the cab. I really appreciate how the top of the cab sticks out slightly further than the glass. Every little bit of shade helps on those hot and sunny days. If you buy one of these cabs, also consider tinting the exterior. Check out this Yanmar YT359 with a tinted cab. This thing stays nice and cool, looks awesome, and despite what you might think, it is super easy to see out of as well. Okay, back to the 4035CH. There are two more exterior features that I really like, which is the front and back wipers that have wiper fluid as well. The placement of the wiper fluid tank makes it super easy to fill up. Also, the gas tank sits in the back on the 4035CH while it sits on the side of the 4035H. One of the coolest features that you get on this tractor is the massive light bar that is curved and spans across the front of the cab. It is truly very bright with 80 ultra bright LEDs. Now, before we hop inside to take a look, the tractor has some packaging materials that need to be removed first. Make sure to check out the review that I did comparing all of the bad boy tractors to get more information on the lifting and power specs of the 4035 and 4035CH. Okay, now that that's out of the way, first thing that's immediately noticeable is how much different the dash is than the non-cab option. Literally everything except the portion where the horn is, is different than all the other bad boy tractors. The steering column, the display itself, the PTO throttle, parking brake, it's all different and in different locations and looks different. This is all fantastic to have and comes standard. My favorite thing that's different on the dash is the display. It's going to give you more information and looks a lot nicer than what comes on the non-cab option. Another great feature is the front loader joystick, which gets routed directly beside the seat, making it easier to reach and use than on the non-cabs. 
Now, moving on to the interior of the cab itself. On the cab, the rear glass windows opens nice and easy, but the cool stuff is mounted above. In the center, you have six buttons that turn on and off the front light bar and rear work lights, as well as buttons for your wipers and wiper fluid. To the right, you have knobs to control the heat and AC. I counted a total of eight fans mounted inside the cab. There is also a light in the middle you can easily turn on and off. On the left hand side is where you can control the sound system. Choose from your favorite radio station, etc. There are two speakers mounted behind the driver's head for nice, clear audio. The overall layout of the interior of the cab is ergonomic and looks super nice, making it an enjoyable experience for the operator. So there you have it. The Bad Boy 4035 cab explained in one video to help you make a more informed decision about your next tractor purchase. Give this video a thumbs up to show your support Subscribe to the Tractor Bob's YouTube channel. If you are already subscribed, thank you so much and consider hitting that bell icon to be notified on when we come out with new videos. Thank you so much again for watching. Have a wonderful day. God bless.